Shawty think she hot, Shawty think she hot shit Yeah, she a fire, she a dime, she can pop shit Shawty think she hot, Shawty think she hot shit Yeah, she a fire, she a dime, she can pop shit Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Shawna Back up in this joint with another video Yeah Okay, so basically Alright, so basically this is an update on my hair So actually, it's been a whole year since I did a big chop since I cut my hair short and swivel bob. It's already been a whole year already. Can you believe it's already been a whole year? So yeah, this is basically an update, like a one year anniversary since I cut my hair, since I did a big chop. So if you're new to my videos and new to my hair journey, if you don't know, go back and watch my playlist. It's my 2019 hair journey playlist. It's on my page, on the front of my page. And basically, I'll just do a quick recap. During 2017, I experienced my hair texture changing. It grew, was growing out of my head from the roots. A thinner, looser curl, very thinner, finer texture than my normal curl pattern. My normal curl pattern is like a 3C with a mix of 4A, like mostly 3C, I guess, with a mix of 4A throughout most of my head you know it's a little more on like the kinky coarse side so but my roots was growing like really like fine soft thin texture so so it grew out like that like a good few inches and then I did some research found out that it could be iron deficiency that that seemed like the, that seemed to be like the main thing that would cause something like that to happen so you know I started working on getting my iron up I started taking um, iron supplements but also my hair started to shed a lot so basically I lost like half my head like the fullness it was all thin so then on top of that like thin texture then plus it shedded so my hair is very very thin like see-through and then eventually like probably like the beginning of 2018 my roots my natural thick texture started growing back in normal from the roots but at the same time my hair still shed so much and we still had like a lot of thin texture so it just didn't look right so I was wearing extensions you know I did braids too during the summer 2018 I did braids I was doing just wearing like clipping extensions and stuff like that and then by was it February about a year ago February 2019 that's when I decided to cut it because I felt like it kind of grew out like the new texture grew out a good few inches by then it was probably about you know I felt like the new texture the normal texture grew, grew out a good few inches so I don't know I don't like short hair on me but I just kind of want it to I just didn't like the dealing with the two textures and all that so I did a big chop, but I cut it into like a little bob where it's a little bit longer in the front. So that's just how I cut it. But you know, so I still had like probably a couple of inches of thin, of the thin ends on the very ends, mostly mainly in the front, but like it kind of gets trimmed off a little bit here and there as it grows out. So, um, so there's probably still like a little bit of thin ends and the very ends in the front. So. But yeah, so basically, um, my hair ever since 2018, it's been growing in the normal hair texture. And then by 2019, oh, and also in 2018, the shedding did stop after a few months. So, but, you know, a few months of extreme shedding lost a lot of hair. So, but yeah, 2019, we did a big chop, cut it into a bob. And ever since then, though, my hair's been growing out the normal texture you know I've been taking my iron supplements I try to take multivitamins you know I try to just keep basically I just really learned that your hair really depends on the nutrients that you put in your body so so I just try to make sure I keep like you know vitamins minerals that we need I try to take that so I definitely need my iron I take multivitamin and you know and then in May last year, May 2019, I dyed it. Dyed it purple. I mean, I dyed it so I bleached it, dyed it purple, and try to do like some ombre, like pastel thing. 
I don't know. But yeah, this is how it's faded out too. This is still it. I haven't dyed it again since, but this is just what it is. I don't know if I'm gonna dye it, re-dye it purple or what, or just leave it like this, or I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing right now, but it is what it is. So yeah, so, but basically this is where my hair is at now. It's from the front yeah so as you can see it's been flat ironed and so from the front it comes a little bit past just a little bit past armpit length now you can see I mean the back is still like um, slightly shorter because the back if I pull the back to the front it kind of doesn't reach as far as the hair in the front so if it's all pulled to the front the back is shorter but in the back it, it's got some length so yeah we come a long way since a year ago you could definitely see the growth in a year so my hair definitely has been growing So yes, I would just say it's slightly past armpit length, which is almost to where, you know, about as long as my hair probably grows just about, I don't know, about this length, mo mainly most of the time. That's about usually as long as I can get it. So, but that's usually about where it grows to. And it's like getting close to there. It's almost there, probably in a few more months, it would probably be about there. So it's like in a way I pretty much achieved my goal of getting my hair back to how it used to be before the whole iron deficiency thing. So that's basically what we did. Just get our iron supplements, get our iron up, try to eat foods that have iron and protein and you know just the vitamins that we need, um, multivitamins, that's like probably one of the main things that I think helps. Drinking a lot of water, yeah. You have to drink a lot of water and like I just try to you know I wouldn't say I do anything like super special but I just you know wash it condition it I don't use like a special um I don't use a special shampoo and conditioner usually it's something cheap like Garner fruit teas or bossy or something like that you know I wash it condition it like about every week every maybe couple well, probably like every couple weeks or so wash it condition it you know I try to keep the ends moisturized um a lot of times it might just be like in a bun when i'm just like you know not doing anything special it's just in a bun like i, I don't know of course i sleep with my satin scarf on all that so those are like probably the main things like like i don't really have like a hard time getting my hair to grow to about this length because that's just kind of where my hair usually grows to but i still feel like you know you still gotta do things to help it stay strong so basically i think for 2020 i'm gonna start a new hair journey a growth hair journey um so now that i basically i got my hair back to like its original state like the normal texture it's pretty much almost its original the length that we had it so it's almost pretty much back and now my next goal is to achieve waist length hair because I never had waist length hair before like my hair like I said it usually grows to about this long but I know like some people believe that everybody's hair has a certain length that it can only grow to because of genetics that like not everybody can achieve waist length or tailbone because everybody's hair stops can only grow to so much and then that's it like you have like a cutoff length like you have a cutoff length and that's it it cannot grow no more but I don't think that's true some people believe that but I don't think that's true because if it was true like okay like yeah my hair usually stays about this length most of the time but I know that it's still growing because like you know a lot of times my hair is dyed and I can see my roots growing out getting longer and longer so that's proof that my hair is growing but if it's staying the same length then that means that it's the ends 
that break off, right? So that's basically what she had to do was figure out how to retain the length, how to keep those ends from breaking off. Like if this is about where my hair grows to, then it's like, so for some reason, my hair is where it gets weaker at this length. And I kind of feel like um, nutrients and stuff kind of has something to do with it too. Like a, I mean, maybe it's genetics, but also like the nutrients and how you take care of yourself, what you put in your body has something to do with how strong your hair strands are to like be able to maintain length longer. And then plus just also, you know, just taking care of it, like doing more protective styles where your ends are protected. So like, I think like, you know, you'll probably see more growth if my hair was like in more of a protective style more often. Like in like a bun, you know, some type of style where the ends are like not exposed. So yeah, so that's pretty much the next challenge, I guess, the next go, the next hair journey that we're gonna take for 2020 is to work on doing whatever we can do to set the train. Why is it so loud? To do what we could do to make sure we can retain length. Basically, it's retaining length. So I'll make more videos um, talking about that, I guess. And I feel like, you know, like I'm not like an expert on hair. So, you know, I still like watch other people. I watch other YouTubers on growing their hair. I still do research, you know, of what, you know, I do all those things. So I feel like, you know, if you guys, you know, if you guys are on a, like a hair growth journey too, you know, we can just all help each other. You know, like if you guys have tips that you do, like, or some of you that already have uh, waist length or have had waist length hair, you know, share your tips in the comments too to help me and help other people, you know, and as I figure out things and, you know, uh, accomplish things or <laughs> whatever I'll be making videos sharing with you updates and all that stuff so but yeah that's what we're gonna do but yeah so this big this video was just basically an update and you know it's a, a one-year anniversary of a big chop and that basically I got my hair back I grew my hair back like we defeated <laughs> iron deficiency or you know, at least for my hair anyways I don't know I could still be low on iron but at least we got it up enough to get my hair back so yeah so I'll continue taking my iron supplements and you know I'm trying to eat more protein too and just whatever I could do to keep my hair strong you know, zinc is good for your hair, vitamin B vitamins. I need to get some of those skin, hair, and nail vitamins too. I take the multivitamin. I mainly right now I mainly take a multivitamin, iron, and I've been taking a vitamin a vitamin D. So the vitamin D is also good. Like if you're deficient on vitamin D, that can also cause uh, your hair to fall out and be weak too. So also um, look into that. So, so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. So yeah, this is my hair. It's pretty much, yeah. Maybe I'll insert something that shows what it looks like now in its curly state. But the thing is too, when it's curly, like I still, I don't know, I still like wearing it straight a lot because when it's curly, it's still kind of like short to me, you know, because of the shrinkage. So that's why I really want it to grow out more so that as curly, because I don't know, especially because of the way it's cut. So like, I don't know, it still looks, like it's still a little too short to me when it's curly, okay? But I mean, I don't know, but I think like I just straightened it now because it's been like a couple months or so since I had it straight. So I've been wearing it curly, you know, and, but I've also been experiencing like doing like stretch, you know, like stretching it while it's curly and also doing twist out. So I think when, after I rock it straight for a little while, I'll probably come back and try to do some videos and play around with doing twist outs and stuff on like natural hair, curly hair, so stay tuned for that. So I mean, yeah, so if you want to keep up on the journey, if you need to see the whole story, make sure you check out my playlist. I have a video where I explained in detail the whole story 
the timeline of what happened <laughs> with my hair when I discovered I it was you know what happened from iron deficiency so check out my playlist and you know um yeah again you know comment if any of you went through the same thing with iron deficiency with your hair or I don't know just any thing that has to do with a hair journey or if you just went through any type of hair journey where you have to cut your hair and you're growing it back you know share that in the comments share your stories share your tips on like how you got your hair to be healthier or stronger you know let's like help everybody out okay so so yeah if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up click the bell for notifications yo and um yeah subscribe i will be back in another video bye